Okay. Yesterday, or not yesterday, but last week, we started talking about how we can turn fractions into decimals. Okay. So we used our decimal point, and we know that this is where the ones are, and this is where the tens go. And then we talked about what places to the right of the decimal. We have the tenths place and the hundredths place. Okay? okay. And we know that this side is when we have fractions of numbers. And this side is where our whole numbers go. Okay. And we talked mainly with fractions that were tenths or hundredths. So if we had two tenths, that's the same as zero in my ones place, because I have no whole numbers, point, and a two in my tenths place. Okay. And then we said, well, what if we have um, 18 hundredths? We have zero whole numbers, and then our 18, we, our last number has to end at the hundredths place. So 1 and 8, because those, those 18s go 1 and 8, that would be 18 hundredths. My tenths place and my hundredths place. Yes? Would two tenths be 0 plus 5? No, 2 tenths. 2 in my tenths place. Okay. <laughs> But not all fractions we come across are going to have a 10 or a 100 in the denominator. So we're going to learn more as we go along. And today we're going to learn when we have halves and when we have fourths or quarters. Okay. Now, the first one I'm going to show you was in our book. Show it right here. This one right here. Now, if I count all of these squares up, there are 75 of them shaded in. 75. Okay. So I'm going to look at my fraction. 75 over 100. Can somebody tell me what um, decimal that would be? Alec. 0.75. Yeah, 0 0.75. Okay. Now, you know I told today we're going to look at halves and quarters and so I'm going to start writing. I'm going to make a chart right over here. Okay, so new, this is going to be my new decimals chart. This will help us with our homework. Okay, I told you we're going to do one quarter, one half, or two quarters, and three quarters or three fourths, okay? So I'm going to make this chart right here, and we're going to fill it out as we go through. Okay. 75 hundredths is 0 0.75. Look at this again. Do you see how I can break this, this piece up into four, four equal pieces if I made a line going this way and a line going that way? I can. So what's 75 over 100? What fraction is that? If I simplify it, if I divide, you know what I can do? I can divide both sides by 25. That's the biggest number I can divide both sides by. What's 75 divided by 25? Um, no, 75 divided by 25. Jacob. 50. No, 75 divided by 25. Seven? No. Three. three, yes. Remember if I have three quarters, that's 75 cents. And what's 100 divided by 25? What's that equal? Brandon, four. So see how 75 over 100 is, is the same as three over four? And the decimal will always be the same. It's 0 0.75. So I'm going to come over here. 0.75. Okay? Three-fourths, or three-quarters, is always 0.75. Okay. Now let's look again. I have another one right here. And if I count all these up, because this is broken up into hundreds, 
I have one row of 10, two rows of 10, and one, two, three, four, five. How many blocks are colored in or shaded in that one? Okay? 25. 25. And how many boxes are there all together? How many pieces did I break up that hole into? 100. 100. Hmm. That's the same. What decimal is 25 one hundredths? Natalie. Yes, yeah, 0.25. We put the zero there because we don't have any whole numbers yet. We will later on when we have our mixed numbers. Now, what fraction, if I want to make break this down, what fraction can I simplify this to? One fourth. One fourth. I have to divide both the, the numerator and denominator by what number? Yes, yeah, so I divide 25 divided by 25, and that equals 1. 100 divided by 25, that equals 4. So let's see. Oh, I have 1 fourth as one of my new decimals that I need to figure out. So what is the decimal for 1 fourth or 1 quarter? 0.25. Now you know how I like to you know how I like to, to think about this though. I think what happens when I'm trying to use money and I have quarters. Now the reason why they're called quarters, if you look really closely on them, it says one quarter dollar because one quarter is one fourth. They're using fractions. How many cents is one quarter worth? One quarter is how many cents? 25. Three quarters is how many cents? Three quarters is how many cents? 75. 75 cents. Okay. Now this last one they're going to use is this one right here. Boom. Okay. And it is two quarters. What's another fraction for two quarters? A fraction. You gave me the right decimal. I'm going to do the fraction, then we'll get to the decimal. Uh, one, half. one half. Now, how many tenths is or hundredths did we have? Hmm. So if I have if I have a, a, a piece broken up into ten pieces, how much is half of it? Five. So five tenths. What if I had it broken up into a hundred pieces? How much is it, Dominic? Um, five no, not five one hundred. That's just a little bit of it. If I want half of it, how many hundreds? Mm -hmm. Fifty over one hundred. So guess what my decimal is going to be? Zero yeah, zero point five zero or. 0 0.5. Remember, the zeros on the end of our decimal don't really matter. They just hold places. It's like if we're doing whole numbers and we put a bunch of zeros at the front, they don't quite. So 0 0.50 and 0 0.5, they're the same thing. We both have 5 in our tenths place. 50 hundredths or 5 tenths. So up over here, 0 0.5. Because what happens if I have two quarters? How much is two quarters worth, guys? 50 cents. 50 cents. Boom! Right here. So these are the decimals we're going to need to know on our homework. Okay? The ones they're going to be asking for. I want to do a number line real quick before we shut this down. Use my trusty ruler. That's how I know they're going to be the right size. the right length I should say. There's two, there's one, there's zero. Oops. Right there, there, and there. You guys see how I took, I got, this number line goes from zero to two. And I broke it up in each number into the same amount of pieces. So I have point A right here. Who can tell me what the fraction 
and the decimal for point A is going to be. If this is 0, this is 1. What's the fraction going to be? Hmm. Okay. J4? Yeah, because there's it's broken up into 1, 2, 3, 4 pieces, and that's 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths. 3 fourths. What's the decimal for 3 fourths? Emma? 0.75. Zero point seven five. Seventy five hundredths. Okay. B. This one goes past the whole number one. Who can tell me what the fraction's going to be in a mixed number? Let's do this one in a mixed number. So much easier to write our decimals when we have a mixed number instead of an improper fraction. Natalie Agazarian. One, yeah, because here's my whole number one, and then one more, one fourth. Who can tell me what that decimal is going to be? Mm. The decimal. You know, Eli. Uh, one point two five. One and twenty five hundredths. Because remember, one fourth. I'll look up here on decimal, it was 25 hundredths. The last one we're going to do right here with C. Okay. Oops. Okay. Two can tell me the mixed number fraction and the decimal. One and two fourths. One and two fourths. What's another way it could be? One and two fourths. What's another way where we simplify the fraction? Justin, want to try it again? 0.5? No. Look at the fraction. One and one half. half uh-huh. Two fourths is the same as one half. Oops. But I wrote it down wrong. One and one half. And who can tell me the decimal now? The decimal. Zachary. 1.5. Yes, 1.5. Because one half, the decimal is... Point five. Okay, so when you're doing your homework, if you don't want to watch this whole thing, you want to skip ahead, move it to a point where we have all these filled in and hit pause, and then use that, that'll help. This will help a lot. But I wanted to show you how we got to those. Okay, I didn't want to just want to say, hey guys, remember, one fourth is. 0.25. I wanted to show you why it's 0.25. So I showed you the pictures and we saw how it's really 25 one hundredths, okay? Okay, so use these, use this table, help you out on the number lines and the pictures you have to do tonight.